that this psalm may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. For when I shall have brought them into, into the land, which I swore unto their fathers that floweth with milk and honey, they shall have eaten and filled themselves and wax fat. Then will I turn unto, oh, excuse me. Then will they turn unto other gods and serve them and provoke me and break my covenant. Okay. And it shall come to pass when many evils, okay, when many evils and troubles are before them, that this song will testify against them as a witness, for it shall not be forgotten out of the mouths of their seed, for I know their imaginations which they go, go about even now, before I have brought them into the land which I swore. Okay. And Moses therefore wrote this song the same day and taught it and, and taught it the children of Israel. And he gave Joshua the son of Nun a charge and said, Be strong and of a good courage, for thou shalt bring the children of Israel into the land which I swear unto them, and I will be with thee. And it came to pass when Moses had made an end of writing the words of this law in a book until they, until they were finished that Moses commanded the Levites which bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord saying take this book of the law and put it inside put it in the side of the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your power that it may be there for a witness against thee for I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck behold will, while I am yet alive with you this day ye have been rebellious against the Lord, and how much more after my death? Gather unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, that I may speak these words in their ears, and call heaven and earth to record against them. For I know that after my death ye will utterly corrupt yourselves, and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you, and evil, right, and evil will befall you in the latter days. And that's a cut. That's a cut on these uh, so-called these so-called Jewish people that wish, okay? Because they're not suffering evils, okay? That's just propaganda bullshit, man. They're not catching hell, man, okay? It's pro Moses prophesied that the children of Israel in the latter days will be uh, experiencing evil and trouble, man. It shall befall them, which is the curses, which is a sign. Proving that we're the Israelites, man. Because nobody's more zealous and 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 all in, engulfed in these other religions like Jake, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? And who's the uh who's heavily into that madness that they call Christianity, where they have pushed that madness talking about you can accept the Lord, you you can accept the Lord, you can choose the Lord. It's Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but they don't have understanding. They lack understanding because the Lord, he ain't dealing with all Israel, which we're going to prove. So that's a cut on these Amalekites. It says, and evil will befall you in the latter days because ye will do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. Okay. And Moses spake in the ears of all the congregation of Israel the words of this song until they were ended. Okay. So let me go back to Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29. You know. Go up some. Deuteronomy 4 and 26. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land whether ye go over Jordan to possess it and ye shall not prolong your days upon it but shall utterly be destroyed and the Lord shall scatter you among the nations and ye shall be left few among the heathen whither the Lord shall lead you and there ye shall serve other gods the work of man's hands wood and stone which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell but if from thence Okay, but if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, which his name is Yahweh, thou shalt find him if thou seek him with all thine heart and with all thy soul. And when thou art in tribulation, 
all right which we in tribulation now okay but it's about to increase even more on this earth okay it says when thou art in tribulation and all these things are come upon thee talking about what the curses the evils that befall us which are signs okay all these things come upon thee even in the latter days which is what we in now if thou turn to the, the Lord thy God you turn back to Yahweh Shemel Shai and shall be obedient unto his voice I right, take heed to his men, prophets, I right, that speak the word of the heavenly Father in sincerity and truth. It says, "For for Yahweh Shai, thy power is a merciful power; he will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swore unto them." Okay. Leviticus 26 and 40 it says if they shall confess their iniquities and the iniquity of their fathers which they trespass which with, with their trespass which they trespass against me and that also they have walked contrary unto me and that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought them in, into the land of their enemies if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled and they that and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity then will i remember my covenant with jacob and also my covenant with isaac and also my covenant with abraham will i remember and i'll remember the land the land also shall be left to them and shall enjoy her sabbaths while she lie desolate without them and they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity because even because they despise my judgments and because their soul abhorred my statues and yet for all that, when they shall be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away, neither will I abhor them, to destroy them utterly, to break my covenant with them, for I am the Lord their God. Okay. But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt and the sight of the heathen, that I might be their God, I am the Lord. Okay. All right. So that's a cut on these 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 heathens. All right. But the main point was that Jake, we established the, the the fact that our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, is in a state. Okay. They had discontinued from being called the Lord's people. They discontinued from uh, of, of knowing who they are, keeping their heritage, which is the law, statutes, and commandments, uh, speaking the Lashawan Kodash, uh, being able to read and write in the Lashawan Kodash, which Lashawan Kodash means holy, uh, the holy tongue, okay, which which is our language, okay. And we hurt and be able to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, so we discontinued from that. All right, this is a uh, Hosea, or Hosea chapter one verse nine. Then said uh, the Most High, "Call his name Lo Ami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God." And that's what happened. Okay. It says yet the children yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor nor numbered and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them ye are not my people there it shall be there it shall be said unto them ye are the sons of the living God which is what the name uh, Israel mean or Yashar Allah in the Hebrew Yashara'la, which means Yah is in the, in the front, meaning He. Shar is prince, and Allah is power. So they're the sons of the living power. Alright? The Israelites. Okay? Alright? Which that's part of the uh, curse that we was uh, discontinued 
from our heritage knowing who our power was and we was worshiping other gods right and we're being called uh, by other names okay and was made uh to think that we were we were not the lord's people but now it's coming out through the spirit starting with abba bivens elder abba bivens all right all the way down to uh the elders today and great millstone elder to hard bar ramla car all right as and the rest of the elders okay and the camps that's affiliated under uh the elders in great millstone we we go out there and we tell Jake you are you are the children of God. Okay, it says then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head and they shall come out of the land. For great shall be the day of Jezreel, which the name Jezreel is Yah Ye, uh, excuse me. Yah Zariah Allah, which means Yah He Zariah, which is like sow or seed Allah. Most high, which means the most high uh, soul. He gonna sow us back into our own land. Okay. All right. So back to the point. You know, I'm sorry for that. I was doing a lot of jumping, but that had to be that had to come out because that explains why our people is so. Uh, let me get that. That's part of the curses too. But their their mind is so gone, man. Deuteronomy twenty eight twenty eight. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse twenty eight. It says, "The Lord shall smite thee with madness, and blindness, and astonishment of heart, and thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind grope in darkness." And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Okay, and that's how that's when Jake is all engaged in the worship of these other gods, they're bugged out, man. You know the shit they be saying, even even they saying that that madness that you can choose the Lord, all right, and He come as you are, you know, He He don't. He don't hate you, you know. He he loves everybody. He choose everybody, or you could choose him as your personal savior. That's madness, okay? That's complete madness because the scriptures don't say that. All right, but that goes back to that zeal. All right, Romans ten and one. Okay, it says, "Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to to the heavenly Father for Israel is that they might be saved." Okay, Paul said that, so that, that excludes everybody out. Okay, he's talking about Israel. He said, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Okay, all right. And the true wisdom and knowledge is, knowledge is uh, contained in the scriptures. But Jake don't deal with the scriptures. They deal with uh, paganism. Uh, the worship of other gods wood and stone okay and they zealous backing up that statement I said before they're the most zealous of, of those people that's engaged in those religious religions which is going off but not according to knowledge because they don't have the knowledge of the scriptures it says for they being ignorant of, of God's righteousness and going to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God which what is the righteousness of God keeping the law statutes and commandments okay so Jake that's part of Jake being blinded man okay well, let's get back on the top so that's part of the topic let's go back to this okay John chapter 6 verse 43 this is why Yahusha made that statement it says Yahusha therefore answered and said unto them murmur not among yourselves no man can come to me except the father which have sent me draw him and I will raise him up at the last day okay so the, it's, it's all about whom the he heavenly father has chosen 
all right? Not what you want to do. <laughs>